All right. <clears throat> so we are going to look at the three characters that were showcased uh, in the combat cast. Um, and <laughs> boy, oh boy, did they? They were so excited. They had so much energy. It was amazing. All right. I had some dude get mad because, like, because it's just, oh, man, they're just so, all they give a crap about, oh, combos and setups and whiffing and ziffing and all this bull crap. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, right, when, because um, I started doing it, so I've laid the template of how I'm going to do it. So when I get Mortal Kombat 1, I'm going to be putting out individual videos for every character, um, showcasing their special moves, then other ones showcasing their standard moves, and then I guess one showcasing like their actual combos that they have listed as well. So people get, you know, an overall. Now we're doing Shao Kahn first because they left him still last in the combat cast. We're doing it in reverse. And um, he looks great. He's massive, really tall. Um, he just, he, he's a lumberjack. <laughs> uh, he's just all choppy. He's, he's just, you know, he's like, every character that he's fighting is a tree. And he needs that firewood. So he's going to chop him down. Now, I think they only listed four special moves for him. Um, one, one, god, there's so much standing around, right? Um... There's one where he does um, kind of like this big overhead <coughs> attack, right? Big arcing attack, that's it. And it leaves the axe in the ground. And depending on like positioning, right? He becomes like he's, 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 he's unarmed himself. And so like he can, till, he can still fight, but there's certain moves that he can then do in order to then use the axe that's pinned into the ground so he can grab you and put you on it and stomp on you and then drag you up and slam you on the ground um there's another move where <clears throat> um he can actually summon the axe to sort of come up and smash into the ground which causes like a massive type of eruption there's another move he has where he can kind of like do like this hack like that straight into the ground right which is pretty cool. So, um, and he's fast, man. Like he's really, really fast. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited for that. Um, I still think we're not seeing everything. Yeah, yeah. I had some dude. Yeah, there's, he's got like a power up move. Yeah, some dudes like, oh, they can't show us everything. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. The game is three weeks away. All right, we're not a year out. We're three weeks away. Okay. And considering we're paying for this thing, I. Like, is it so hard for them to show us the full move list in a in a video? God, they're so like, you know, and, and and keep in mind, like as a reference point, right? I do um, remember how they used to advertise their games and stuff, and they used to show tons. Anyway, so he's got this move. It looks like it's another special move. It's kind of like a dive knee, and as he sort of like grabs them and knees them. He's also like pushing his axe into them as well, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's there's probably maybe another special move that we don't have because I think that's four. He's got the chop into the ground. He's got the knee. He's got the overhead, and he's got the power up one. Um, hang on. So he's got the knee. Hang on, maybe it's five. He's got the knee, the power up. Um, the chop into the ground, the overhead, the axe move that he's doing there. So, it would have been kind of cool if like, say for example, like when his axe is in the ground and then the opponent moves in front of it, he can summon it and it smashes into them to get to General Shao. I think that would have been pretty cool as a move, right? But, um... It looks like he's going to be a lot of fun, but like I said, I, I just, I'm very excited to just sort of get these characters 
in how I want to, you know, show you guys, right? So that way you can go, what are general shower special moves if you don't know? And then you can see it for yourself. So, and of course they show us some Motaro. Um, he's got like a ground, looks like a ground fireball. He's got his normal three hit fireball. Uh, he's got his reflect, he's got a teleport. So, you know, he, he's not too bad. He's not too bad. Uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not overly plussed on the cameos. I think I'm just going to have to psychologically figure out a way that makes them make sense for me. And I think I'm sort of leaning into the fact of like, these are literally just extra special moves. That's it, right? If I ignore the character attached to it and just go, okay, I'm going to get these additional four extra special moves, then that's probably the only way that I can deal with it, right? Because I think that, and this is, I've, I've gone through this too and I've seen other people comment on this as well, that they're struggling trying to line up the, the cameos, right? So think of it very much like an extension of yourself is probably the best way to do it, right? So getting into Rain now. Now Rain, um, like he's been redesigned essentially to be kind of basically like a ninja mage um, uh, who utilizes water. Um, so I, I got nothing wrong with his design. I actually don't mind him at all. You know we're going to get a classic suit of some description, right? So everyone's sort of you know, worried about that. You know, he's going to have that. But he's also kind of like um, everything's attached to the ball on his staff. So his staff is the key. It's a shame it's not like Samurai Showdown where you could actually like, you know, disarm people. That'd be kind of cool or break their weapon. Um... But yeah, I think Rain's going to be a lot of fun. He's going to be a lot of night. He's going to be a lot of nightmare fuel for people, right? Um, and he has pretty nice special moves. He's got um, all they do. Just stop. He's got his. He's got his teleport kickback, right? <clears throat> so that's come back as well, which I'm assuming is just part of a standard. All right. Um, I'm, this is his throw. So he kind of wraps him up in a big old ball, all right? Now he's also got his um, like a so he's got his projectile. This is a water blast. Uh, he's also got God that sweep is massive. This is a, again this is the problem with having weapons tied with characters and they then end up having these gigantic sweeps. Oh, I mean, it was bad enough back in the day when, like, just a simple normal leg sweep, some characters might be slightly longer. So, he's also got, like, a protection bubble as well that he can move um, in front or behind. If you enhance it, it actually goes with you as well. So, it acts like a shield, naturally, of course. Uh, he's also got, now, this is the interesting part, he's got his portal system. So, he creates one portal, then he creates another, and then he can teleport between the two. So that's going to take a little bit of work figuring out placement because obviously we aren't fighting against a static character. You know, these people, you know, no one's going to sit there and just let you do things to them. So you're going to have to like, what I'm thinking is that when you're in close and you're wailing on them, you pop one, right? Because in this game, I'm starting to get the notion of basically like, it's, everything seems to be a misdirect, right? So you pop a pop a portal up. So the your opponent gonna, is going to be automatically thinking about that portal, just like Lee May with her lands. Right? He's also got this move too, multi direct like multi placement. But yeah, it's a pop up, which is pretty nice. Um, so it's all about getting in their head to break them, right? So throw a lantern out, throw a water, you know, a water teleport portal out and get them going, oh my god, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? What's the possibilities of what he can do? Or what she can do, or whatever. So, and that's part of it, right? I saw this other comment, it's so funny, he goes, oh, scrapping just looks like doing whatever you want. Man, you don't know anything about scrapping. Scrapping is adaption. Scrap adapts, combos collapse. It's as simple as that, bro, right? It's as simple as that, all right? And he's also got, uh, so he's got, instead of his lightning move, He's actually, you know, as able to summon this massive storm that he can also hold and then drop a big giant sort of kind of electrified is, you know, water ball on them as well. 
So he's stacked. He's got a lot of great special moves. Um, all very flashy and everything. And I think he's going to be a lot of fun to to muck around with and, and mess people up. So, yeah, I, I think that's going to be pretty cool. Um, and then they just they showed some Striker, right? So Striker actually has a move um, where... Where hang on, he's got his, his his grenade tosses, so he's got two grenade tosses there, so you can't even jump out of that one, right? He's also got his um, bat and leg trip, that's come back as well, which is pretty cool. So let's see if he does it, and um, he's also got a really neat move too, which is kind of groovy. Oh, he's got that. He's got an overhead slap down. There's his leg trip. Yeah, with a baton. And then he's also got this move where he actually, like, handcuffs you. As well. Let's see if he does it. Right. Stop doing that crap. No one cares. Come on. Chop, chop. Oh my god, they're just obsessed with this stupid... There we go, he handcuffs him. It's got even the police lights. So he runs out, he does his little handcuff move. It's enough. Now, I'm assuming it's blockable, but if it isn't blockable, then that's going to be an extra stun move to add to the arsenal of, of moves that you've got. So, so far, Rain is looking solid. General Chow's looking solid. And then uh, we'll move on to, um, lastly, Sindel. Right. And um, she's looking great. Love how she looks as a character. The special moves seem pretty good. Um, and everything sort of seems to be roughly tied with her hair. as if So that's essentially the, the magic user. So she's got a flip kick back. So that's not too bad, right? I love that sort of like split kick. I think that's really cool, right? Uh, I dig that a lot, right? Uh, it looks like, I, I don't know if that's a special move. It could be. It looks like it, she's got like some sort of like stomp. Right? She's got a flip kick. She's got that, unless it's enhanced. It doesn't look enhanced though, does it? It could be. It could be. I don't know. Like we were watching it. We were also tired watching this last night. But, um, you know, so it could very well be. They probably did say it. Whatever. Also, it looks like she's got some sort of like pop-up move. Doing the splits as well. She's got an uppercut, dive kick. So she looks like she's got quite a few. And of course, she's also got her fireballs back as well. And her scream. The scream looks great. Sounds good too. Yeah, some of the some of the games they've had her do a scream is not very good. But in this particular one, I really do like it. Right? It's kind of got a little bit of a wind-up as well. Sometimes they made it too quick. I do I don't I do actually like it when it's a little bit slower. Now she's got like a standard fireball, right? She's also got a low fireball. So that's going to be a lot of mix-up. There's Groot in the background. Um, why are none of the trees raw in these stages anymore? Is that because people can't handle like extra sensory stuff? She's also got uh, any level uh, aerial fireball. So if you can do it as close to the ground as possible, you can. So rather than being diagonal, diagonal, diagonal as it used to be, um, it's actually going to be... Um, done at any level so but yeah not too bad not too bad they're all looking good again sort of at this point like the combat cast is just absolutely just it's just so boring like the energy is so low there's no excitement about these characters anymore um, they just go yeah and they just go through the motions and that's it so it's gonna be far better when we all get our hands on the game and you know, just have some fun with it, you know, and showcase it to you guys, that's what I'm excited for, sort of, you know, building up the showcase for that, um, because that's how my brain works with this channel, it's archival, so it's like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, and, and whatnot, um, and it's not hard to do, it's, it's, I, I love it, it's very easy for me to do, so I have a ball doing it, so, but, um, yeah, anyway, so let me know what you guys think, they all look solid, don't get me wrong, they all look solid, uh, I just need some more time in with... Um, oh, she's got a float as well. I need some more time in with General Xiao. Um, 
again, I kind of feel like there's, there must be some, this, I think there's something else there that they haven't shown us. But that's, that's five special moves, I think, for him so far. Rain stacked, Sindel looks stacked as well. Um, so it just sort of, yeah, it just depends, you know, how they go when we get our hands on them. And that's the only way any of us are going to really judge or know for ourselves um, whether or not these characters are actually as good as they may or may not claim or how they look. So anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Let me know what you think. Catch you next time.